Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of solving rate problems. This is standard 7.4D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 18 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have the owner of a bookstore. He buys books for $150 each. Then he resells it for 400% of the amount. So this is a percent change problem, which makes sense. If he wants to make money, he's got to sell the books for more than he purchased them for. And so he wants to know, we want to know, what's the price of a used book in the store? What is that percent change? So there's a few different ways that we could use to solve this problem. The first one would be to just look at our basic y equals kx equation here when we're looking at our rate equation. So you remember that our x is our independent variable. So that's how things get started. So that's our beginning variable. And so in this case, what do we know? Well, we know that our beginning variable is going to be this 150. That's how much a book costs when the owner buys it from someone. He's paying out 150. Now, what happens is that something happens to that independent variable, right? And so we've got our constant, our k, constant of proportionality. So we change it somehow. We multiply it by something. And in this case, it's 400%. But we need to do a little bit of work with that because we don't really know how to multiply percents and decimals. So k equals, that's that percent change, that 400%. But we need to change that back into a decimal. Well whenever we change from a decimal to a percent we move that decimal twice to the right so when we go from a percent back to a decimal we're just going to move it it's at the very end we're going to move it back twice to the left so really our k is 4.00 or just plain old four so 400 percent equals four and that might not seem like it's right but think 100 percent of something just equals the whole thing. 100% equals one. So 400% equaling four, that makes perfect sense, right? So our constant is four. So that 400% means you're just multiplying it by four. And then you're gonna get your y and that's gonna be our dependent variable. That's the answer, that's the price we're looking for. So if we look at it that way, well, we've got 150 times four. So that's gonna be pretty simple, zero. 20, 600, two digits behind the decimal, two digits behind the decimal, looks like it's going to be six bucks. Now, I so said there's another way to solve it. If we didn't want to do all that, if we didn't want to use this equation right here, we could just make a proportion. Now, they only give us two numbers. And so we know that if we're going to use a proportion, we're going to need three numbers. So what if we did this? 150 over my unknown price, we know it's six, but we don't know it if we're gonna start with this way. So equals my 100%. So 150 is 100% of the normal price, but we know that the new price is 400%, right? So this is the uh, the buy price, and these two are the sell price. And then what we can do, right, is we can do a little cross multiplication. Once again, uh, if we do that, we're going to need to go ahead and replace that 400 with a 4. We've already done that work. But look what we get. We get x. We literally get x times 100%, which is x times 1. So we get the same answer here of j.